Hey everyone, today we're gonna to make a delicious and easy, here's the thing, a very simple cheese fondue. And we're gonna do it to pair with a sparkling wine, this particular sparkling wine. So this is a SIP certified wine. The reason that we're using that is because we want things to be sustainable, right? And tasty. So if you've ever been confused about the sweetness when it comes to sparkling wine, it's a little confusing, right? Because usually with white wines, when they say dry, that means no sweetness. But when it comes to sparkling wine, dry is sweeter than brewed, right? So it gets a little confusing. So you should 100% check out my video on the different sweetness levels of sparkling wine if that's ever confused you. I highly recommend it. But we're gonna make this super simple, super easy, cheese fondue. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna take a dry white wine and we're gonna add that to whatever pan you're gonna make this on. We're just gonna do a stove top fondue and bring that wine till it's almost bubbling. This is important. You wanna use a dry wine. You don't want a sweet wine for this fondue. We're gonna prepare the cheese. Take our cheese. Take that shredded Gruyere cheese. We're gonna add a little bit of cornstarch and we're gonna completely coat the shredded cheese. This is what's gonna help thicken that fondue. Add the cheese in batches to the hot, almost boiling white wine. This part's really important. Once you get that cheese in there, you don't wanna bring it to a boil ever again. It could risk the cheese sauce breaking. So add the cheese in and just completely melt that cheese. Whisk it around. Once it's melted, you have delicious and tasty, easy, simple stovetop fondue. And it pairs nicely with this sparkling wine. And I'm gonna show you how to open up a champagne bottle because I think this part's really important. So the thing that's really key when you're opening up these bottles is to not twist the cork. You actually wanna twist with the bottle. The reason for that is if you twist the cork, you risk losing control of what you're twisting with, which is when you've ever had a cork fly off somewhere, it's usually due to that. I have no nails, so peeling off this foil is a total pain in the butt. <laughs> so take the cage off. Some say don't, some say leave it on. I prefer to take the cage off. So you wanna hold the bottle here, hold the cork, and then twist with the bottle, holding the cork. If you're twisting here, you can see where you lose that grip, right? So if you lose that grip, and if it pops at a point where you don't have a grip, it could fly off hit someone, break something. So hold on to the cork. There you go, twist with the bottle. Easy as that. Definitely check out my wine pairing recipes. I'm gonna go have myself some sparkling wine and some delicious cheese fondue. See you next time.